Reiner report homeless people are often denied shelter if they have pets, but a pilot program last year provided grants to shelters if they allow people to keep their animals. A bill in the Capitol is moving forward to renew the program this year. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now. Morgan, tell us why this is an uphill battle. Chris and Laura, the bill is calling for $30 million, $30 million that the governor did not add into his budget. And the state is facing a budget deficit. This bill is one of four that animal advocates are hoping makes it to the governor's desk. We hear it all the time as reporters out in the community. Nowhere would take places with pets. And I would, I, with, she's the reason why I kept going. I'm not going to leave him outside. No pet policies keep struggling people from getting help. The shelters, they hold a lot of barriers. Um, no dogs. AB 1215 would reestablish the Pet Assistance with Support Pause program to award grants to shelters for food and basic veterinary services and a pathway for permanent housing placement. As an assembly bill now moving forward towards the Senate, we are hopeful that it will make it all the way to the governor's desk. But at the same time, we are working on a 30 million uh, dollar budget allocation to ensure that the program is funded. Money that as of right now is not in the governor's budget. Assembly member Wendy Carrillo did not say how negotiations were going. I support that. I think animals are um, not only important companions, but they also serve um, an important mental health uh, component too. Republican Assembly member Bill Asaley supports the bill. In fact, he mostly supports all four bills that animal advocates at the Capitol Tuesday are calling for. AB 1399 would help with the statewide veterinarian shortage by allowing people to seek care for their fur babies through telehealth. Anything that we can do to expand access to care during the shortage is going to help so many people and their animals. Dr. Jennifer Scarlett is the CEO of the San Francisco SPCA and the veterinarian herself. We haven't had enough new vet schools accredited over the last several years. So we're looking at a shortage today nationally of about 3,500 to 5,000 veterinarians. So if you're having trouble making an appointment today or seeking emergency care for your animal, it will get worse unless we start to make change. Republican Assemblymember Saley was happy to show support for the bills. What he wanted to talk about, though, is one of the bills that was not included. His bill, known as Bowie's Law, which, would, which was recently killed in a committee. It would have required shelters across the state to provide 72-hour notice to the public before a dog is euthanized. Morgan, thank you. Continuing this story here, tiny homes have become more of an acceptable way of helping to solve the housing crisis. And some students at Franklin High School in Stockton are now getting involved. 50 students from the school's building and construction program have been building the tiny home since January. Resting on a trailer, it will also have a bathroom, kitchen, and more. Teacher Michael King became a certified tiny house instructor last summer and teaches skills needed to get a job. I needed to be able to get to a point where they needed to be able to start fulfilling some of the needs of the industry. So we had to start incorporating some plumbing, we had to incorporate uh, roofing and, ele and electrical. I believe that the skills that we're learning with this tiny house is really going to help out students that are, you know, going to go into the construction industry after high school. When completed, the tiny home will be valued at $70,000. Once sold, the hope is the home will find a place somewhere in San Joaquin County.